What is up, YouTube? My fucking shirt on backwards. <laughs> Hold up. All right, so that's more like it right here. I suppose this is why you don't make videos at 7.30 in the morning with, with no sleep. But anyways, we got another reaction video for y'all today. We got undercover boss of Checkers Restaurant is forced to reveal himself. Let's give y'all the 10 likes and hit five, 400 subs before the end of this month. I love y'all. Let's hop straight into this video. How late can you stay? I got an axe. What? Look at this dude. Yeah, he look like an ass. Ooh, man, we so demanding. Man, if y'all don't know, man, I'm a huge fan. Let me know if y'all want more undercover business balls. like this. I have a drugstore in Philadelphia, and um, we had to shut it down. And so I'm thinking about going to the food business. It's more than you cooking uh, a beef patty. You're satisfying your customer. I always wanted to be a chef since I was in the seventh grade. When the school for it, I had to stop going to school. Why did you stop? It seems like you really love it. I'm all about my mom and my family, helping her out for bills and everything like that. You bring money home for her? Yeah. I'm, hey. I'm, I'm her rock right now. Uh, sir, Who y'all think got the best fries? No problem. I kept hearing the general manager barking orders. God, sir! I need you to drop what you're doing. I need you to take some trash out. And then I heard again. How many hours do you have right now? It ain't too many. So if you go on overtime, I can take you outside and beat you up, right? Yo, he's the manager! Todd, this is what usually happens when you try to do something, someone's calling you all the time? I can't tell you right now. I need you to drop what you're doing. Do me a favor take out some trash. Can you hear me, please? Okay. He, he needs to help me here. Is that okay? No, you're going to go with him. Oh, okay, okay, good. Is that what he always does? Yeah, that's how he is. Like he was telling people they were gonna get in trouble, they didn't do their work? Yeah, he's a bit of a, I try not to, you know, pay attention to it so much. I couldn't work in a place like that. I really could not work there. I couldn't work there for 10 minutes. I would never let somebody talk to me like that. It's my Why job. You see, see me personally. I because I need to help my mom. How does it make you feel? Like I'm worthless. It's crazy because there's a lot of management no, like that. I don't think so. Yeah, I want to talk to him. Come on. I don't, I don't think so. I want to talk to him. Let's go. I need my job at okay. any means necessary. Good job. Good job. <laughs> yeah. I didn't sign up for that. I just wanted to work. I just need a job. <laughs> you still have a job. I'm going to talk to him. Give me his name. What's his name? His name is Stevens. Steven, is that your name, sir? Steven, yes, sir. Can I talk to you for a second? Of course. I might have an opportunity to join Checkers and Rally System. Okay. What excuse is there to talk to people without being respectful to them? I... What excuse do you think <laughs> I was? I don't think I was like, disrespectful. You, you have to talk up. They will not listen to you unless they... They. they. Who's they? The crew. Why would I want to work for you with the way you talk to people inside there? The first hour that you talked to me that way, I would leave. I would walk out the door and never come back. Let me ask you a question. How would that make you feel? I would say that you couldn't handle the job. You do what you got to do to get them to listen to you. You run them. They don't run you. What? I came into this company just Whoa. like you. Wants it to be nice, low tone. It doesn't work. If I don't scream at them, they don't listen to me. But I'm not going to let you continue telling me I'm disrespecting my crew. Something is seriously wrong with him. He needs to stop. Have you been in the fast food business before? Uh, no, I haven't. Maybe that's Have my problem. Have you been problem. in the restaurant business at all? I've studied the restaurant business. No, not studied. Have you any experience in the restaurant business? Actually, I do. I'll be honest with you. I do have experience. I'll tell you exactly. Um, I have been in the restaurant business for over 20 years, and I've been in the fast food business for over 20 years. I'm CEO for this company. I know exactly what it takes to run a restaurant like this. And guess what? I know the right way to do it, and I know the wrong way to do it. And what I saw here today is completely the wrong way to do it. Right now, you're not doing the job to our standard, and so you don't belong in that restaurant. Right here, right now, we're going to shut the restaurant down. Right now, you're not doing the job to our standard. It's completely unacceptable. How long have you been in this restaurant? Uh, about six weeks. I was thrown into this position. There are certain things I don't know right now. I oh, don't. here we go. It's always somebody else's fault. You know, you know this is wrong. You know you don't talk to people. You know you don't want to be talking like that. Okay. You know you don't you know right. to like Honestly, no. Okay. I didn't even finish training. Mm. Honestly, not one single person in that restaurant is trained properly. I cannot train them because 
I don't know everything yet. This is going to be the last car we serve today, right now. I'm very disappointed. I'm disappointed in myself because at the end of the day, accountability rests on my shoulders because we didn't properly train them. Guys, Erica, ma'am, we're shutting down. We're getting one last car, and that's it. We're shutting down. I'm mortified. I actually am mortified that it happened, but there really was no other solution under the circumstances. We're close for tonight. Um, my name is Rick Silva. I'm CEO of uh, Checkers and Rallies. The person who I was training was actually the CEO of Checkers. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still in shock. I know. I'll be shocked too, Nick. I decided that we weren't going to keep operating this restaurant. We're going to close it. Uh, <sighs> so we're losing our job? No, you're not losing your job. The reason I'm shutting this restaurant down is because of you guys. The truth is, if we haven't trained you to do it, you're doing the best you can. It's not your fault at all, OK? It's my fault if you're not properly trained. No long faces. Everyone's getting paid. Everyone's got a job. And it's going to be a better restaurant than it was today, OK? I couldn't leave that restaurant today not knowing that when I left, that restaurant may not be operating at my standards. Hold on one second. Mark, I'm not doing very well. In fact, I'm having a horrible night. What I need you to do right now is to get me some general managers from other restaurants. I want to bring them in. Uh, and I want to make sure that we got a crew here before we reopen this restaurant. My legacy at Checkers and Rallies will always be we do things the right way and we win by doing things the right way. Todd, the thought of somebody treating you with disrespect really disturbed me. Damn, there's no wrong. I'm Fuck. incredibly proud of what we did that night. I really am. And start with you. Just so you know, Stevens is being retrained. Yeah. Because of the experience that I had at your restaurant, Every new employee at Checkers and Rallies is going to be trained on our values. That's about treating everybody with a great deal of respect. You inspired me to change the company. How do you feel? I feel good. <laughs> when we were on the grill, you lit up like a light bulb. It really showed the passion for cooking. But well, we want to put your dreams back on the table. We're going to pay for you to go back to school and finish your culinary <laughs> degree. We're going to pay for everything. Not only your tuition, but all your books, all your expenses, so that you can finish that culinary degree. Thank you. <laughs> you told me about how much pressure you have because your mom counts on you to bring home the money. Yeah. So we're going to give you $15,000. Wow. To help what? cover those expenses and help give you some. Bro, imagine working at, like, you. working a job and then the CEO I, I really give you 15 k I, I really feel like I need to give you a hug. Give me, I really, give me I really a hug. Do. Man, this your heart felt. It feels both so are. good. It really does. I'm gonna stand up for what I believe in. It's my time to shine. Hey, no cap, man. Great video, double video, man. That man really had them folks fucked up. Talking to them, talk to his crew like that. And WCEO, no cap. This man gave his man 15K and he's sending him back to college. Pay for his pay for his everything so he can go and be a chef. Probably not even at checkers. Tough. But anyways, y'all leave a like, get us a 10 likes on this video. Let's get to 400 subscribers before the end of this month. Um Y'all follow me over on TikTok. Link will be in the description. If y'all fucking with the y'all fucking with the with the brand, no cap and the hat too. Link to that will also be down in the description below. Keep y'all self protected, man. I'm out.